Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. I'm here today because I'd like to share with you a design team project for Craft Supplies 1. And it is also a project I made for the baby shower that I am working on. So what I decided to do, um, I'd seen some really cute wreaths on Pinterest and I decided I would try and make one for the baby shower. So this is what I came up with. Now, it's kind of brighter on camera than it is in person. I don't know if it's my lighting or why it's not coming out like all the way true to color. But, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my lighting. So anyways, um, I'm going to show you guys here. That's the wreath. If I can get it all in frame there for you guys. It's kind of big. I mean, not too big, but um, it's a decent size. So I had found the wreath part. It's actually green. And it was the first one I came across when I got the idea in my mind that I wanted to do something like this. Um, so the first one I found was green. Of course, that wasn't going to work. So what I had done was... Um, I took some white seam binding from my stash and I just wrapped it around the whole thing. Now, about every, I would say five loops, I would put a little bit of glue so that it wouldn't all unravel or whatever, you know, just, just to hold it together and give it some more stability. So I did that, you know, every so often to make sure it would, one, stay on and not mess up. And for two, like down the road when I was working on it, it wouldn't like lose its place and I would have to like redo the whole thing. So I just kind of did that all the way around and then um, after that I, I took this tool and it's one that comes on a roll. Um, I got mine at Hobby Lobby now. The pink one I've had for a while and then the gold one I bought um, not too long ago. But let me tell you guys, oh my gosh, the if you get the glitter tool because like my mom had the idea um, to have a lot of sparkle to it. It is so messy, so just a word of warning or just a little be careful or I don't know, but when you work with that, I mean, glitter is everywhere. I it, There was so much, I thought like all oh, the glitter was coming off, but there's still a ton left, but just so you guys know, it's very messy. I mean, even now I'm like handling it very carefully because it gets everywhere. So um, I just took some pink. And I cut about um, 12 inches, a little bit over um, pieces, and then I just, you know, tied them in a knot all the way around. And I didn't want it to be too thick, so I didn't do, like, you could still see white through, so I didn't make it all covered, because I didn't want it, like, overly, like, you know, fluffy. So um, I did the pink, and then I went through with the gold and just put... Um, you know, every so often I would put a piece because I didn't want it to, because I knew I was going to use a lot of gold items from the shop. I didn't want to overpower the gold, like on the, the wreath part. So, um, just every so often, as you can see, I would add a little uh, piece of the gold tool. So, once I got that done, the next thing I did, if you can see back here, this gold trim right here, that's from the shop. It's so pretty. I mean, I've actually even bought a bunch of this. Um, myself because I loved it so much and I thought it'd be perfect for some of the baby shower stuff that I have to do. So I took a piece of that and actually when I originally started this, this was going to be the bottom but then once I got done I didn't really like I just wanted to balance it out so I ended up turning it on its side and I kind of liked the way it came out better but um, I took that lace and I just glued it here and then you know to here put that down then the next thing I did was I made this flower right here. Now this pink trim right here is from the shop. So I just used um, it to make a flower. I had cut out about a two inch circle for the favors that I did. And I had one left over so I decided to use that kind of as my base. So I just um, used this trim. It's super pretty and it comes in a double layer. Really, really cute. So I just made a flower from that. And then I took some of these gold flowers that are also from the shop and use them kind of as the center. So they're really pretty. And I really love the size of these ones too. They're a really nice size. So I added those to the center. And then I glued it down right here because I knew I wanted it to be like centered. Then I took, um, if well, if you guys remember the video I showed you of the other thank you favors I made, I had some of these rosette flowers on there and I kind of wanted to 
have things coordinate somehow together, you know. So I kind of want to add some of the same elements to all the stuff I do. So I took some of those rosette flowers and I added one on this side. And then there's one up here. And then here in the center of those, I added these acrylic flowers right here that are from the shop. And I do believe these come in other colors. So that looks just like that. My camera wants to focus in for you. Really, really pretty. So I added one to that rosette and then to that rosette right there. And then, um, let me put this down for you guys so you can look at it. So I did that and then I took these little rose buds here, put two here, two here. I think those are wild orchid craft flowers. Um, but so I added just those and then I took some little blings, the ones that are on the words. I put a couple on each end and then I took these big pacifiers right here. They're like a light pink um, acrylic. So I tucked one in here and then I tucked one in here. So like I had mentioned earlier, originally I was going to have it like this, but when I went to do this, I didn't like the way that the words were. I just kind of felt like it was not centered very well. So I decided before I had glued them down because I was kind of making sure everything would fit the way I wanted it to. And so I kind of was messing around and turning it and stuff. And then when I went to the side, I really liked the way that it looked like this. So I was like, you know, put the letters out and seeing it. And I liked the way that it looked. So I decided to go with that. So these are just some gold thickers that I had. And then I put them on some cardstock and you know just kind of cut around it uh, and then I added these little bling pieces from my stash that you know someone's on that side so I put those around and then um, the final thing that I did was I added this gold butterfly right here that's super pretty this is also from the shop I believe this is newer but it's really really pretty and I had got one in my DT box I wanted to make sure I used it on this project because I thought it would just go really well so I just added it to the bottom right here, um, you know, because once I had it figured out how, how I was going to have it all set up, then I thought that would be a perfect little spot for it. So, and it comes already glittered like that. I think it's really pretty. So, um, I think that's all that I did. And actually, like, it did take me a while. These, it wasn't... <sighs> I guess as simple as I thought it would be, even though it looks kind of simple. It was kind of time consuming, but um, the end result I liked. It looks a little bit different kind of in person that it's showing. Like here, all the tool looks very like um, not much there on camera, but in person it looks a lot thicker and fuller, which I'm not sure why it's not coming as it is in person on my camera. I don't know. But um, I really like the way that it came out. So it's just going to be a little decoration for, um, you know, the baby shower. So that is my wreath. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys check out um, the new items in the shop. There's a bunch of really great stuff. And I will have the link in the description box below. And that is it for right now. I thank you guys for watching. Bye.